Hi, this is David from Zachu Punch Headquarters. Are you a baseball fan? Awesome, because today we're gonna to build the AT&T Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. Let's start by making sure you have the right model. Does it look like this? Then we're on the right track. Okay, the first bit of AT&T Park that we're gonna build is the entrance pavilion. It looks like this, and you can see the Willie Mays gate on the front. Once it's punched out, you can make all the folds in it, like this. Hey, you can pause the video at any time if you want to complete a step. I'll wait this time, okay? <laughs> okay, the front parts of the gate are going to fold in and hook onto the wall behind them. That makes the gate pop forward. It's our first big challenge in building the AT&T Park, and you're doing really well. You got it all together? Super. Now, let's pop out the platform that everything sits on. It's easy to find because it has a baseball diamond on it. We're going to anchor the pavilion to the platform with these little spikes. You see how they go through the platform and uh, down to the bottom? Good. When you have that secure, we'll build the north wall of the park, which looks like this. It has two towers on it that both get made the same way. Let's fold the long flat bits first, and then for the towers you kind of roll them up like a burrito. Once the tower is rolled up, you hook it onto itself so that it stays closed. That leaves you with the tower roof, which is a little hard to get at first. You see all those folds in the roof piece? They each get folded down so that you can tuck the roof into the tower one edge at a time. You might want to rewind it and take a minute with this part. These are kind of tricky. But your towers are looking amazing. So if the roof ever pops out, you can squeeze it back in or you can put a little tape on the inside to make it a tighter fit. But I made mine just like yours and mine is doing okay still. So we're going to hook the north wall onto the platform while connecting it to the pavilion. Are you ready? This is probably the hardest part, but you're doing really good so far. The trick is to get this little tab on the tower to hook into the side of the Willie Mays gate while getting the spikes of the north wall to go down into the platform. I, I think you got it, and you are a genius. So congratulations, it's all downhill from here. Now let's put some bleachers on. Punch these out and make all the folds first. It should curve around like this before we try to attach it to anything. I like to start with the northeast tower and work my way around. You push the tab from the buildings into the side of the bleachers as you poke the spike of the bleachers through the platform, and then you go all the way around like that. When the angles of the walls line up with the cutout in the buildings, you know you're doing it right. Hey, one last wrinkle on this side. You see there's a tab to attach the pavilion to the bleachers. Just a little wiggling will get this within reach. I can almost smell the garlic fries, but, but we're here to see the game, right? So let's tidy up our bleachers on the inside and push the long tabs into the slits all the way around the infield. Good. Now, we'll add the field house and the cheap seats because, after all, that's where we have the best chance of snagging a souvenir home run ball, right? Well, that's this weird looking piece here. Like we did before, we're going to get it totally folded up before we try to attach it to anything, something like this. What's more, we're going to add the scoreboard and that big Coca-Cola sign and baseball mitt thing that's in the middle of the outfield. See how you fold them up and fit them into the slots? That's perfect. So this piece is connected, starting with the bleachers down the right field wall. Imagine you can see McCovey Cove through the passageway. The bottom anchors come first, push the spikes through the platform, and then tuck the tabs into the right field, center field, and left field lines. Well, that is unparalleled coolness. It's looking really good. Now let's stop the rest of those line drives going out the back of the stadium by adding the left field grandstand. Fold it first and then sort of chunk it into the last little bit of space provided. When it's tucked in right, it looks something like this. Just uh, survey all the spikes from below to make sure everything is seated properly and won't come flying off when the Giants take the field, and that looks good. The rest is just details, like these nice palm trees to put in front of the Willie Mays gate. If you cross them up, they'll stand up and look nice. They probably cost the city a million dollars a piece, but hey, what can you do? And just to make sure the tourists don't miss a game, we'll put one of those silly amphibious adventure boat cars out front. It only has two pieces, but it's ridiculously hard to put together. I'm going to let you try it out on your own. 
And if that doesn't work, it's up to your mom or dad. Uh, let's see, how, how are you doing with that? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, nice try. If you want, you can take a piece of paper and add the surrounding details like the marina and Red's Java House and the Third Street Bridge to your model, stuff like that. Did you know that the Third Street Bridge is also known as the Strauss Trunnion Bascule Bridge? Try saying that three times fast. You could also make the model yourself of this bridge out of your own paper with your own ideas. Awesome. Go. That's it. Thanks for coming out to the ballpark with me. This is David signing off from Zachu Punch headquarters.